So let's be honest here. There's one thing that hero games can do 100% of the time in Eternal Evolution, and that is make banger and amazing assassin heroes. And that's what we have here today. We have the skill and exclusive setup for the new SSS level winner for assassin hero, Samel. And like I said, it sounds pretty important. The fact that he is going to increase the crit damage that a target receives mean that he is absolutely going to want to be on your assassin team. Even for me, it's going to be a hard decision what assassins to put on the team at this point because uh, I really don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump right into it. Let's talk about this new assassin hero coming this week for anniversary with confirmed double chip resources. <laughs> So yes, this is the brand new Semel the Spirit Lord will be available when we update later this week. We can recruit him in the limited recruitment event after the update and it does have double chips. He's a Winifer Assassin. Like I said, his characteristics are multi-respawn and area damage, but it's not just that. His exclusive, exclusive is very strong, so wait till we get to the end. Let's start off with his ultimate skill called Dead Silence. Uh, Samel pulls out his bloodied Espadon and slashes enemies in front of him, so it's like a cone AoE attack. At the end, he then lunges at an enemy. Samel is immune to control effects during this skill activation. It would be interesting to see if the new SP hero, Artemis, can counter that. There is a talent effect for this right here. It says each time dead silence lands a critical hit reduce the target's energy or rage so that is really big that's essentially the effect we get in twilight lands when you have multiple assassins on your team uh, except he just has it naturally the ability to lower energy that is a huge counter to a lot of different teams now if i take a look at his exclusives we're going to talk about the exclusives that uh kind of go with each one of his skills and then we'll talk them again at the end so his first level exclusive which is basically just automatically unlocked called dead silence enhancement each slash increases the critical damage received by the target so that's interesting uh we do have to make sure in game it's it's worded the way that we're thinking it is but from the sounds of it it makes it sound like that is a perpetual thing throughout the battle which means having him on your assassin team with your assassins critting pretty much the whole battle uh, is going to be absolutely insane for Dominic because on Dominic you want and or you want your allies getting crits because the crits are what add up into his mark and then it does crazy amounts of damage so let's move on to his common skill his kind of basic attack here herald of death samel teleports to the target with the lowest hp and strikes with his claws the talent effect makes it so his attack from herald of death has a chance to stun the target based on his accuracy so the higher accuracy the better chances are you're probably not going to care about running accuracy on him too much it's probably gonna be the typical crit I mean, it's probably going to be the typical Marauder set with like a crit set paired with him. Uh, his level 10 exclusive enhancement enhances this ability, increasing the damage to targets with lower HP. So just he's really a sniper. He wants to go after that low HP target, which is good because that's what assassins do. His next common skill, Infernal Grip. Samel uses Infernal Grip dealing damage to targets all around him. The talent effect reduces the healing effect and shield effectiveness of those affected targets so that's interesting especially paired with like maybe like other heroes that are going to re do really big damage it means that they're not going to have the chance to recover their health and then of course at ex20 on the exclusive infernal grip enhancement after each time he revives the damage of this skill will be enhanced so the question is we don't know how many times he can revive it sounds like it's going to be multiple because his last skill his passive skill called call of the underworld at the start of combat or after each revival so Samel takes less damage. This is all, or this also includes true damage. So true damage will not deal as much damage to him after his death. When Samel dies, he is revived, restores HP, and gains a certain amount of energy. We don't know how much. Then he can be revived up to a specific number of times in battle. 
my guess is like by default it's probably like one time uh and then with the exclusive it's multiple so the talent effect on this one is after the revival Samel gains energy that might make it easier for him to get to an ultimate right away but of course that ex30 call of the underworld enhancement the maximum number of revivals is increased so it might go from like one to two if it's like a lot of revives then maybe running the marauder set isn't the play here because the marauder is going to give him life steal and instead we might run him like a full crit or like overload or sun signet type setup where he has very high crit and crit damage and we just don't care about his defenses at all his healing at all anything like that because uh well he might start dealing more damage after he revives and then even at that point if he does die another time and you have a Caraxia on your team well he's going to stick around get insane attack speed and keep attacking enemies around him and we'll have to see how that actually turns out because this hero is really strong and it's going to become a decision of what heroes you pair him with the reason why this is a quote-unquote issue for a lot of players right now is if we take a look at our assassins we're not even going to count Caraxia here right now because such a limited number of people actually have this hero uh, but normally people are going to have Dominic they're going to have Rickert and they might have like a Bailey however a lot of people might have gone in on Matoko on the collaboration with Ghost in a Shell and if that is the situation then you do kind of have a bit of a topic to kind of go over because she also does something similar she does an AoE type attack but you can only put so many assassins on a team now of course if you're mainly just focusing on wanting a four assassin team then he will fit perfectly on your team with dominic rickert and matoko because of course the big thing like i was saying is the ultimate skill from dominic is so strong because uh he puts the mark on the target and then he deals damage uh, plus an additional 17% of the critical damage that that target receives. So if that target is receiving more critical strike damage from all of your heroes, I mean, you can kind of see how I build my heroes. Most of them are a very high crit rate. Um, Matoko is interesting because she just instinctively has a 100% crit rate. So all additional crit chance is transitioned over to more crit damage. And Dominic is another one that's really cool because you don't need to build him for crit rate because one of his abilities, uh, which one actually is it? I can't remember which one it is. There's one of them that he basically inherits. Yeah, Rickard gains half of the crit rate of all allies that have a sword soul on them. And you grant one sword soul to all allied assassins when a hero with sword soul performs an attack. The sword will attack them as well, inflicting a percentage of his attack. Uh, each hero can have two of those swords on them. So you can see he gets a lot of his crit chance from other heroes. So you don't need to natively build him with crit chance. You can build him very much offensive. Uh, you can build a Marauder set for survivability, go for additional crit damage, or go for, uh, of course, attack if you want to up that rate. That is one thing, though, I will say with this hero is I don't know if we're going to want to run a Marauder set on them because if them dying will net you more damage in the long run. Uh, that could be like that could be really really good so we'll have to see how it plays out there's already a lot of really good assassins in the game and one thing they do good is make assassins so leave a comment down below let me know how you think this hero is going to turn out i'll see you guys next time hopefully building this hero next week